الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم We openly bear witness that there's no God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we witness that our dear beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he is rahmatil, rahmatil in nas, that he is a mercy to all the world. Dear Muslims, assalamu alaikum. We thank Allah for giving us Yamul Jum'ah, that is congregational prayer, Fisa Bilillah. We thank Allah for allowing us to come to Yamul Jum'ah to worship in his call. Fi sabilillah, that's what it means. Fi sabilillah, fi in sabilillah, in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what that means. So we hear things and we don't know the meaning of it. Uh, a lot of Muslims use terminology that they don't know the meaning of, unfortunately. Fi sabilillah, in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we thank Allah for letting us come to Yamul Jum'ah today. Allahu Akbar. Uh, we just want to, we have a short message for you today. Uh, we want to talk about uh, what's happening in the world. Uh, Allah says the word sabra, sabra. Uh, I want you to some of some of the brothers here they might know sabra, the verb. Sabra means patience. Verb. Sabra. Sabra means patience. S a b a r r a. The fact that something that the world doesn't have enough of. I did a little research. Sabra is mentioned in the Quran over 90 times, for those of you who are interested. 90 times. There's only 114 chapters in the Quran, but 90 of them reflect the word sabra. Sabra, patience. So why would Allah give Prophet Muhammad a Quran with 114 chapters and 90 times in that book, there's the word sabra, patience. Perhaps there's a reason for that. Wallahu akbar. So Allah says, he says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. He says in the second surah of Baqarah, which is the longest surah in the Quran with 286 ayats. That's the longest surah in the Quran, in case you're interested. Allah says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. He says, Yaladina Amenu, in the Bisabri, you hear Sabra, Sabra, in the Bisabri, was Salah in the Laha Mas Sabrin. Salak Allahu Ladin. Praise be to Allah. Allah says, Yaladina Amenu, O you who believe, not Muslimun. He's talking to believers, not Muslims. See, you gotta understand something. Every believer is a Muslim, but every Muslim is not a Muhammad. Allahu Akbar. Just because you say assalamu alaikum don't make you a believer. So Allah says, Yaladina Avenu, O you who believe, believers are male and females. They're Africans, they're Palestinians, they're Egyptians, they're Nigerians, they're Europeans. I went to Hajj in 1980, Allahu Akbar. There were Muslims there that were Europeans on Hajj, Allahu Akbar. So believers are everywhere. Allahu Alam, only Allah knows who the believers are. I don't know. Allahu Akbar. I don't know. Allah is El Alim. So he says, Yaladina Aminu inni sabri wa sala inna masabrin. Oh you who believe. He's talking to the believers that are here in Masjid al Hadi today. Seek help with sabra. I just told you, sabra. Seek help with sabra, with patience and perseverance. And prayer, salat, for Allah is with those who patiently persevere. <clears throat> this is a very important ayah. So if you're wondering what you need to do in 2021 that you didn't do in 2020, everyone in this room, everyone on the earth can use more patience. Like Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How much patience do you have with Muslims, with non-Muslims? How much patience do you have with your family members, with your children, with your wives, with your husbands? How much patience do you have with the members of Masjid al-Hadi, the board members, the hmm? imam, the secretary, the people that clean the masjid, the members? How much patience do you have? 
Those who believe, Amenu, seek help. Ayuladina, seek help with sabra, patience, and they, per they persevere. They persevere. When they get rejected, they don't stop. They don't lay down and lick their wounds. No, they fight like Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like Abu Bakr, like Master Bilal, like Hamza, like Lady Khadija, radiallahu anhu. These were the companions of Prophet Muhammad. So because we get rejection, you have to persevere. That's sabra. Just because you get slapped down in life, you don't lay down. You get back up like Prophet Muhammad says now. Because things don't go your way, you try again. You persevere in the cause of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. You keep knocking on the door until Allah knocks it down. Like Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. So we have to, and we have to, Cultivate this quality of sabra, patience. Look how patient Prophet Muhammad Islam was with the community of Al Islam, with his father Abu Lahab, Abu Jahab, his uncles who were in the Quran. They hated Prophet Muhammad Islam. He was patient with them. They were enemies of Al Islam. He was patient with them. We have to have patience with the members of Masjid al-Hadi, especially those of you who are sitting here in the Musella today. You don't have to like me. It's not important that you like me. It's important that you like Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah. I'm nothing but a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm nothing but a foot soldier for God. Allahu Akbar. That's not important. But what's important, you have to like, you should like what I'm reciting to you, the Quran. That's what's important. You're not, you're not going to like everybody. You're not some, Prophet Muhammad didn't like everybody, but he respected everybody. That's the point. He had sabra. It's not about you liking everybody. It's about you obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like Prophet Muhammad, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So, yaradina amanu in this sabri. So, seek help. You want to learn Fusa Arabiya? Sabra, patience. You're not going to get it the first time, the second time, the third time. It took me 9,900 times. I'm slower than all of you in here. But I persevered. <clears throat> when I was driving my car, I put a tape in. Arabic, listen to Arabic. People look at me like I'm crazy. What is he listening to? I kept doing that until Allah let me become a little proficient. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. I was listening to Arabic and didn't even know what I was listening to. And then all of a sudden, the words start to take formation. Perseverance. Be patient with your wives, your children, with each other, with learning knowledge, with education. You have to be patient with yourself first. I find out that people that don't have patience with each other, guess what? They don't have patience for themselves. Allahu Akbar. Remember that. If people don't have patience with you, they don't have patience with themselves. And you expect them to have patience with you? See, the way a person treats you tells you what's in their concept of their mind. You can tell how a person treats you, what they're really like. So we have to have Sabra, we have to have respect and patience with each other. It's very, very important for this community to evolve to the next level. Allahu Akbar. Yeradina Aminu in this salati. O you who believe, seek help with patient perseverance and prayer in the salat. Once you have patience, then you pray for the relationship that you're forming with this person. Or you pray for what you want. But we got to have patience with each other. Life is not about us. It's about Allah. It ain't about you. It's about Allah. America teaches you, oh, it's all about you. No, it's about Allah. So we have to cultivate the relationships that we have with each other. We have to be patient with each other and persevere in the cause of God. And say not to those who are slain in the way of Allah that they are dead. Nay, they are living, though you perceive it not. This is in the Quran. We talk about people, oh, the brother's dead. 
Is that right? Well, the sister's dead. Is that right? So what Allah says here in 154, وَلَا تَقُولَ إِنْ مَا فِي سَبِلِ اللَّهِ Here we go again. فِي سَبِلِ اللَّهِ And what? And say not to those who are slain. تَقُولُ Who are slain in the way of Allah that they are dead. Nay, they are living though you perceive it not. <clears throat> Is it possible that when the body goes into the ground, that the soul goes into another dimension of life, you ever thought about that? I have. Why would Allah put this in the Quran? Death is another existence of life. We're just not familiar with it. We're still here on the dunya, in this dimension. Your death, your death, you start in death. Death is a judgment of your actions in this physical earth. We have to tally up for our deeds, it's in the Quran. So the physical, biological body goes back to the Philar. That's where you came from. Your body is made up of matter. Allah said in the Quran, Kun Fayakun. He said, being it is. It's made up of potassium, sodium, riplophane, magnesium, calcium. All of these deposits are in your physical, biological body. And when you die, you go back, the body goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fertilize the earth for another life coming up. But that soul, that precious soul that you've been walking around with for 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years, Allah takes that back and he judges you based on what you did here on this physical earth. This is real simple. People make religion complicated because they don't want you to understand. Allah says, El Bayan. This is the clear, complete proof. So, based on what you've done, will determine your destination when your body goes into the ground, that your soul goes back to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Don't you want to get paid for all the salaf that you did, all the prayers you did, all the money, the masjid that you donated to Masjid al Hadi for your zakah? You made Hajj, you fasted Ramadan all these years. Don't you want to get paid for that? Those were good deeds. Every, every fast that you fasted all these years is going to be accounted for in front of Allah SWT. Yamu Qiyamah, it's in the Quran. So physical death, Allah says, and say not to those who are slain in the way of Allah, that they are dead, nay, they are alive, Nay, that you perceive it not. Allahu Akbar. So, watch your good deeds, your patience. Allah says here in 155, He talks about COVID directly. I gave a talk last week in Newark. And Allah blessed me with the concept that the word COVID, C-O-V-I-D-19, COVID stands for create our victory in darkness. Mm. Allah white Allah That's what Allah blessed me with. Maybe somebody got something else. I took those letters and I looked into the letters. And my mind began to formulate something positive to extract from something negative. See, the Quran gives you the ability to look into things and formulate them in your mind. So Allah's telling me, Rahman, create your victory in this darkness, in this COVID. How do I do that, Allah? Read the Quran. Have more patience with your brothers in Masjid al hadi Have more patience with your wife and your family members. Have more patience with people in the world. Let us think about this while we make this short. Radana Atina Fedunia Hassanatan, Walfil Akiriti Hassanatan, walk in that at Adam and Nar. O Allah, increase our faith, increase our knowledge, increase our health, increase our wealth so we can use it to propagate this religion of Al Islam and have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and accept our prayer. Amen. Allah
Allahumma salli alayhi Muhammadin wa ala alayhi Muhammadin kama salatna alayhi Ibrahim wa ala alayhi Ibrahim Allahumma barik alayhi Muhammadin wa ala alayhi Muhammadin kama barakta alayhi Ibrahim wa ala alayhi Ibrahim fil amina innaka hamidun majid Allahu akbar English O oh Allah exalt Muhammad and the followers of Muhammad as thou did exalt Abraham and the followers of Abraham O oh Allah bless Muhammad and the followers of Muhammad, as thou did bless Abraham, and the followers of Abraham, in all the world, surely you are praised and magnified. Uh, me. That is Salatul Nabiyun. That is the prayer of all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. And in conclusion, the same surah, COVID, 155. Kalfi is fear. Remember that. Wajalahu in Nakimul and Walahin and Fusi in Samurai. Listen to what Allah says about COVID. Everybody scared to come out the house? Listen to what Allah says. Be sure. Walanabu. Be sure. Don't it's gonna happen. Be sure. We shall test you. That's every soul on the earth. With something of kalfi, I just told you. Something of fear. And hunger. People are hungry and in bread lines right now, right? <clears throat> With some loss of goods. A lot of people lost their jobs, right? Or lives. A lot of people died, right? We have relatives that died. We know people that died. This ayat is talking directly to COVID. <clears throat> and of the fruits of your toil. Some people lost their job. Some people lost their business. So this ayat is talking directly to the situation right now. But well, look what Allah says. <clears throat> but give glad tidings. Go right back to patience. But give glad tidings to those who sovereign, who patiently persevere. So I started out talking about patience in this Jonah, and I'm ending up with patience because Allah is in control. So we're being tested. <clears throat> you don't have the freedom you had 10 years ago. Nobody does. Allah is restricting movement on it, not just us, Muslims, everybody. We shall test you with something of Fear. COVID scares the hell out of you. Literally. So what you're going through is a transition. Understand that there's nothing that every our Prophet Muhammad said that everything Allah has put in the Quran, even COVID. And it's already clocked. Allah knows when COVID's gonna be over. We know. We have to have what? Sabra. 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 We have to have patience and follow the dictates of Prophet Muhammad wasalam, and we have to follow our good human instincts. Allahu Akbar. Look what Allah says. Al-Ladina in the Asabat and say when, aff when afflicted, those who caught COVID, and say when afflicted with calamity. COVID is a calamity. Losing your job is a calamity. Bad health is a calamity. Losing a deaf one is a calamity. Forgetting Allah is the biggest calamity. Allahu Akbar. And say when afflicted with calamity to Allah, we belong and to Him is our return. Inna lillahi wa inna lahi rajiun. That's what you say when you go to the grave. And what it means is that to Allah we belong, and to Him we return. And finally, Allah says, cleaning this up, He says, they are those on whom, these are those on whom descend blessings from Allah and rahmatim and mercy. And they are the ones who receive Mutadin guidance. 
So if you heard one word of what I said today at Juma, there's blessings in COVID. You have to look into COVID. Allah is in charge of this. He knows what souls are going back that are going to die in this transition that we're going through. It's already been recorded. It's right here in the Quran. But has a reason. Only Allah knows why or who's going back or who's going to be a calamity. I just read it. Allahu Akbar. Allah allowed you to get from transition from 2020 to 2021. You should be so grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I have to say this to you. One brother called me up. Happy New Year. New Year for Muslims is not January 1st. It's Muharram. The first day of Muharram is New Year's for Muslims. Remember that. <clears throat> January is a pagan concept word. It means a two-faced God. When you leave here, go look up January on your encyclopedias. You'll see a picture of a white man looking this way and that way. Janus, it was a pagan sun god. We're living in their system. But I want you to have education of Islam. New Year's for Muslims is the first day of Muharram. As-salamu alaykum. Be calm. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar,